Welcome back, everybody. As we know, we're rounding out the month of September today, but before the month ends, we wanted to recognize families who are fighting a disease that can be really tricky to navigate. And here to tell us more about their journey and the resources they found are Mike and Kim Barnes of Parenting Aging Parents. Good morning, y'all. How you doing? Good morning. We're glad to be with you today. Yeah, how are y'all? Well, we are doing pretty well here, and we're so glad to have you both on um, because for you know folks who have been in Austin a little while, they may recognize your familiar faces <laughs> from your work over at KVU. Uh, we're so happy to have you here on KXAN today, though, uh, and you guys are on to a new project now, so we want to talk a little bit about that, and Mike, we want to get started with you. Can you tell us a little bit about your family? Sure. My mom started showing some signs of Alzheimer's about 10 years ago, and it didn't surprise us because it, it kind of runs in the family. She's had several aunts, uncles, even her sister had Alzheimer's. Uh, so it didn't really surprise us. But then about five years later, so about five years ago, it was getting bad enough that my sister and I talked to my dad and said, I think it's going to be better if you move into an independent living place instead of living in a house because they lived in a house kind of in the country about an hour east mm -hmm. of Dallas. And we just thought it would be better for both of them, especially for my mom, to have some some more interaction with other people besides just my dad. So they did that. They moved into independent living about five years ago. But my mom's Alzheimer's got worse and worse and worse. So about two years ago, my mom and I, my sister and I talked to my dad again and pointed out, said, unfortunately, mom's going to have to move to memory care. But we're not going to push it because you have to be behind mm -hmm. it 100% because it affects you more than anybody. But we need to start talking about it and thinking about it. So my sister and I went out and, and looked around the area where they live to, to look at places. And it, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of overwhelming. And but it's got the process started. And long story short, we had a few delays along the way. About a year ago, we were going to do it. Around January, we were going to do it. Finally, March the 8th, we moved my mom into memory care. And it was the hardest day, but very relieving in lots of ways because we knew that she was going to be well cared for because she, she needs better caregiving than my dad who's 83 years old now can give and, and he knew that and I, I was up there yesterday I, I drove to Dallas and back yesterday just to spend the day with him and, and to see my mom but to, to spend time with my dad and it's still tough on him and he, he and he would say things to me like you know I still miss your mom I really miss her and he sees her all the time because he visits quite often but it's so so tough on all of us seeing what mom's going through. Yeah, it's so hard, so hard yeah. to watch. And I, I imagine having to separate as a couple, uh, that's just really tough. So Kim, I know you yeah. guys, yeah. when you receive the diagnosis and at every step along the way, you're kind of thinking, hey, we need some more information because it's certainly mm -hmm. not something people deal with every day. And when it happens, it can be really shocking. So you guys, with your combined media communication experience, you tackled this problem in a unique way. Can you tell me about what you did? Well, you know, Mike had this idea about a year ago that, hey, we should bring people together to be able to build a community so that people can talk and share about all kinds of conditions, just with anything that has to do with our parents getting older. And at the time, I thought, oh, that just really doesn't sound very fun to talk about. That's that's tough stuff. Yeah, she wasn't excited about it at all. <laughs> and then yeah, and fast forward a year, though, after Mike's mom, after Mike posted about his mom moving, just the outpouring of the number of people who who reached out either on Facebook or just even with just to us individually to say, oh my gosh, we're dealing with so many of the same things. Maybe not Alzheimer's, but my mom has Parkinson's or, or we're just physically having challenges or whatever it is. And we quickly realized there are a lot of people going through the same thing. And it's not just us who are sitting in two rooms on two phones, each talking to a different parent, helping them with whatever the issue of the day is. And so we decided to start this private Facebook group called Parenting Aging Parents about four or five months ago just with the idea of can we bring information and resources and build that community together to be able to support people and and frankly just help people to know what are the right questions to ask what should i be thinking about what are the things that i need to do yeah because there are so mm -hmm. many questions out there and you just don't know the answers my dad because of being a businessman he had us all prepared with a power of attorney a will medical directive etc but like i said when my sister and i started looking at memory care units and trying to go to, through the process of moving my mom. There were still so many questions out there. So we're trying to help people find the answers. And not, not things that people t typically have the expertise in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is true. So you guys are out there sharing a lot of support uh, and you're getting a community together, but it's not just community that folks are you know, out there looking for. Mike, can you talk to us a little bit about how you're bringing some information into this group? 
you know, Kim and I, because of our media experience, we've done thousands of interviews. interviews over the years, years. right. Yeah, so what we do is we do interviews. We, we, we do them kind of like this. We do an interview basically on Zoom or something, and we, we post the interviews with experts from different fields, whether it's something legal, insurance, anything like that. And it, it's not the answers because everyone has a different situation. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be a perfect answer for you, but it's going to let you know the questions to ask and let you mm-hmm. take those steps to figure things out. Because you don't know what you don't know is what we quickly realized. Right, right. Kim, just real quickly before we let you go, if someone maybe recently has had a loved one get an Alzheimer's or uh, serious diagnosis that would involve some care, can you tell me just real quickly what first steps you'd take if you were in their shoes? I I think the first thing thing is to look at what information do you have together? Do you have a POA? Do you have the will? Do you have... Do you even know what they would they want to stay at home? Do they want to move to an independent living? Knowing all of those things and being able to be prepared will make it so much easier when you have to move forward down that road because it is a hard one. It's a really Mm -hmm. it's a really hard one. And you just have to know what questions do I need to know and how can I best support them and know that there's a lot of support and resources out there. We're hoping that people can come to our group to help find them. Okay, good to know you guys. Thank you so much. And I hope that um, your mom, Mike, uh, does really well. We're thinking of you guys. You can Thank find you. Parenting Appreciate Aging that. Parents on Facebook or go to their website, parentingagingparents.com, for more information and resources.